Hi guys, I'm Daniela from Lungmaster Learning System. In the lesson today, let me share with you some interesting stories. If you like this learning method, please do share with me. But before jumping in, remember to subscribe to our channel and to hit the notification bell for more useful videos. Let's begin. A busy schedule. It was a Sunday. Selena would have to hand in the plan for the next seminar of the company on the following Monday, which means she only had one day to finish everything. It was a very significant seminar. If it was successful, then she could move up the career ladder. Selina was very excited. However, her colleague Anna said that she needed Selina's help. Now, Selina was up to her ears with work. To be honest, she didn't have the time to help others. But her colleague said she really needed her help to finish the presentation slides. Selina sat on the fence for a while. Then she agreed to lend Anna a hand. It took her several hours to help Anna make the slides become more informative and well organized. When they finished everything, it was midnight. Selina came home and tried her best to finish her work. She stayed up all night until 5 a.m. in the morning. She finally had time to take a cat nap. At 6 a.m. she woke up and went to work. Luckily, she made it. Her boss said her plan was very good. It was very detailed. Selina was cheerful. She knew that her effort would pay off when she spent time helping her colleague. On that day, Anna treated Selina to dinner as she wanted to congratulate Selina on her work and she also wanted to thank her. The beggar. Yesterday morning, John's mum gave him twenty dollars for breakfast. He decided to use that money to buy a hamburger, which was his favorite food. On the way to the hamburger shop, he saw a very poor beggar holding a cap in his hand. The cap was empty. No one had given him money. The beggar looked so skinny and tired. It looked like he'd stayed hungry for days. John felt pity for him. He wanted to give the beggar some money to buy something to fill his empty stomach. However, the only cash he had was $20. If he gave him this money, he would have no money left 
to buy his own food. John thought that if he skipped his breakfast today, he could go home and have lunch with his parents. But the beggar was different. He would stay hungry until someone gave him money. Therefore, John gave the money to the beggar as the beggar needed it more than him. That morning, John had nothing to eat, but he did not feel tired. On the contrary, he felt very happy and strong, as he knew the money he gave away meant a lot to another person. A normal day at work. Today, like usual, Tommy goes to work at 7 a.m. The traffic is terrible. There are cars upon cars on the road, which makes the road become completely blocked. Tommy feels very worried as he doesn't want to arrive late. But with this traffic, he cannot get to the company on time. The only thing he can do now is to wait. When the car moves forward, he sees two ladies fighting in the middle of the road. And that's the reason why the traffic is super bad. The ladies seem very angry. They can't hold their tempers. So they fight and hit each other. Because the situation is very terrible, two men come close and try to separate them. Tommy wants to do something, but he is too far from them. Other people also get out of their cars to convince the ladies to stop fighting. After several minutes, the ladies finally cool down. Then they come to the sidewalk, making way for the traffic. Because of this, the traffic is no longer blocked. Tommy is so lucky. He arrives at the company on time. The Lost Lady Last night, when Amanda went home from school, she saw a very old lady sitting on the pavement next to the post office. So, Amanda came to her and asked her why she was here. The old lady then said that she was lost. She could not find the way back home. Her grandkids must be very worried. Amanda then asked her where she lived, but the old lady said she could not remember. Therefore, Amanda took her to the police station nearby. It turned out she was lost for three days. Her family looked everywhere to find her. And now, thanks to Amanda, their family could be reunited again. The police then called the old lady's son and he arrived immediately. Amanda was very happy. The old lady's son said thanks. 
He wanted to buy something for Amanda as a thank you, but Amanda denied. She was just very glad to help. Then Amanda came home and felt very happy as she did a good deed today. The lake. Andrea went to Emily's house today to have dinner together. Check this out, Emily, Andrea said. Do you remember this guy? We saw him yesterday. Now he is in the newspaper. Really? How cool! Let me see it, said Emily. Yeah, he is a very nice guy. I love what he is doing. He is the only one who volunteered to clean the lake. As there was so much trash which was thrown to the lake, he picked up trash around the lake no matter how dirty the water is. I admire him a lot, Emily continued. Me too. He could be a very good example for youngsters. If everybody could be like him, the environment would no longer be a matter of great concern. Oh, Emily, I think I want to do something. I want to help the environment like him. Andrea said to Emily. Let me think. How about this? We can create a group on social media platforms to encourage people to protect the environment. We can mention good deeds like what the man in the newspaper did. I think this will help somehow, Andrea responded. Yeah, I love this idea. Teenagers like to use Facebook a lot. I believe your method will win big. Let's do it. Great! But we will need a clear plan. Let me take care of it, Emily said. OK, I hope our idea and plan will work for years down the road. Two bags of rice. A very long time ago, there were three people living in a very small house. As they were extremely poor, their son had to work every single day from the crack of dawn to the time the moon started to rise. Then he came back home and took care of his old parents. As the father and mother cared about their son so much, they always told the son to eat more. The son also cared for them too. So, after eating a little, he would say he was full and left the food for his parents. However, as he worked assiduously day by day, 
he was no longer as right as rain. His body became more skinny. To make his parents feel no worries about him, the son always chose to wear a large outfit, covering his skinny body, which was very easy to notice. One day, his mother said she had a craving for rice. So the son immediately went out to find rice for her to eat. He had to walk a long distance to another village just to buy rice. Then, on his shoulders, he carried the two big bags of rice and returned home. When walking half the way, he was drained, but still carried two heavy bags of rice. He fainted and fell to the ground. At that exact time, there was a very tall man who came to pick him up. That man was the king of this kingdom. He entered the forest for hunting. But all of a sudden, he heard a very strange sound. So he came to the side at once and saw a very young boy had fallen to the ground. His face turned pale. He gave him some water. After a while, the son finally regained consciousness. The son said thanks to the tall man sitting in front of him immediately. But he did not know that that man was the king. The king asked him why he was so tired out. He knew that this young boy carried these bags all the way just because of his parents. He smiled and let him use his wagon to go back home. On that night, the son happily prepared the meal for his parents. Until the next morning, when he opened the door, he saw so many good people standing in front of his house. They all carried bags of food and drinks and clothes and so many other things. He was very surprised. There was one person who came close and told him that yesterday he had met the king. Because of his kind heart, he gave him a gift. And the king also gave a compliment on how the son treated his parents. His parents now knew the story. They were very touched and embraced their son. From then on, the family's problems were solved. The son and his parents lived happily together forever. The God of the Forest Once upon a time, in a great forest. There was a myth that living inside this place was a giant and angry animal. Whenever a person entered the forest, that animal would make him scared and run 
at a breakneck pace. Because of this, no one dared to go inside the forest. However, in a village nearby, there were two orphans living together. As they had no place to stay and were often booted out by the villagers, they decided to move to the forest and built a small tent to stay. Every day, to take care of the younger brother, the older brother would run some errands to earn money and make sure that their stomachs were full each day. One day, when they were playing inside their tent, there was a big white wolf suddenly running towards them. The wolf showed its sharp teeth. It made the brothers leave their tent and continued moving backward until they were almost out of the forest. But as they had no place to go, the brothers decided to keep living in the forest. This made the wolf become very angry. It once again showed its big sharp teeth and ran towards the older brother. The younger saw that and he immediately pushed his brother away. So he was bitten by the wolf. He was extremely scared, but his arm felt no pain at all. The wolf did not hurt him. It seemed like the wolf was wondering something inside its head. It finally went away and left them alone. That night, the younger brother dreamt about a fairy. He said he was the god of this forest, as they cared for each other with their true hearts. The fairy let them stay in the forest. In front of their tent, there was a big pot of gold buried under the ground. He said that the brothers can dig it up and use it. When the younger brother woke up, he did what the fairy said in his dream. After digging for a little while, he found a pot of gold. They took the gold out and used half of it to take care of their daily needs and the other half to help other children whom were in the same situation as them. Her mother caught the flu. Today was a busy day for Lily. Her mother caught the flu. As she went out of their house without wearing a jacket. After school hours, she went home on foot speedily. She didn't forget to buy some medication for her mother. She also prepared a healthy meal. Her mother was very pleased. Lily stayed awake all night to take care of her mother. The next morning, after a good sleep, her mother finally recovered. Cold 
winter. Peter came home from his office. He saw an old man sitting next to the pavement. The old man held a board with a few words on it. The old man needed money to help his lovely daughter. Peter just had ten dollars in his pocket. If he gave it to the old man, he wouldn't have enough money to buy food for his dinner. However, the old man looked really poor. Therefore, Peter decided to give the old man all of his money. What he received was great happiness. A pair of gloves. When Avril was seventeen, her mother bought a pair of gloves. They were pink, and they were very suitable with girls around that age. When Avril grew up, she had to go to work. Her mother noticed. That she had no gloves at all, so she told Avril to wear the old gloves that she had bought her five years ago. Avril wanted to deny at first, but she didn't want to make her mother sad. So, she wore these gloves and went to work. After a few days of wearing the gloves, she got used to it and didn't want to buy a new pair of gloves. Where is my dog? Ron usually lets his dog. Out every morning. However, one day he opened the door, but then he went upstairs to take his jacket. As the door was opened, his dog ran away. Ron searched everywhere to find his dog, but. The dog did not show up. Ron was very upset, and couldn't fall asleep that night. When midnight came, he heard a bark that sounded like his own dog's. He immediately ran to the window. He saw a little tail wagging. He knew his dog would come back. Ron ran to the door and let his dog in. Ron was so worried that he would never see his dog again, but now he came back. First. Meal. It was the very first day that Mary cooked dinner for her family. She came to the kitchen and took out the chopping board. She put a big piece of beef on it and started to slice the meat. Into small pieces. Then, 
She put the pieces of meat in the pan and fried them with garlic. She also added some salt in it. When the dish was done, all the people in her family gathered at the table. They tasted it. The dish was so delicious. Mary felt very satisfied. Then they started eating dinner. A good neighbor. Yesterday, Karen's motorbike was broken. But luckily, she had a very lovely neighbor. He let Karen borrow his old motorbike. Karen was very delighted. She went to work by his motorbike. Everything was okay until when she left the office to go home. She was driving on the street. But a strange lady came close to her and said there were some problems with her motorbike. That lady saw something that looked like oil dripping out from her motorbike. Karen was very worried because this is not her motorbike. She immediately took it to the motorbike repair shop. However, after checking the motorcycle, the mechanic said there was nothing wrong with the oil storage. Karen sighed in relief. To make sure, she asked him to check the motorbike carefully again. And he did find some minor faults. Karen immediately asked him to fix it for her. When Karen came back home and returned the motorbike to her neighbor, he recognized some minor changes on his motorbike. He said thanks to Karen when he heard the whole story. If she did not help him fix the motorbike, maybe someday while driving, he would have an accident. The heavy rain. While Julie was working in her office, she heard the rain. It was an extremely heavy rain that went with thunders. It was still raining when Julie finished her work. She took out her umbrella and went to the car park next to her company. On her way, she saw a poor old man sitting on the pavement on her left. He sat under a very small roof of a store to shelter from the rain. The rain was so heavy and it looked like it wasn't going to stop for several more hours. It meant that the old poor man would have to sit here for quite a long time. Then, Julie came close to him and gave him her umbrella. Because Julie gave her umbrella away, she had to run as fast as she could to the car park. 
but she was very happy because today she did a small but meaningful thing. Mom's birthday gift. Yesterday was Diana's mom's birthday. As she loves her mom so much, she wanted to make her surprised. Therefore, she decided to make a lovely card. She would decorate it with their pictures and write some things in it. Diana found the old pictures of her and her mother from the day she was born to now and took out some of the most beautiful pictures and added it to her card. It took her four hours to make it. It looked very lovely. She really hoped that her mom would love it. Diana also prepared dinner. She cooked her mom's favorite dish. When her mom came back home, she was very surprised. Then, when she received the card, she broke down to tears and embraced her daughter. Then, they enjoyed the dinner together. The Old Shoes Tommy is a seven-year-old kid. He has a few close friends. And today, he invites them to his house. The kids come to Tommy's house in delight. They eat and play together until 3 p.m. Tommy asks them to play hide and seek in his house's yard. They all agree and immediately run to the yard. Tommy notices that his friend, Lucas, wears very old shoes. The soles of his shoes really need repairing and it can fall out at any time. Then, Tommy goes back to his room. Under his bed is an old pair of shoes that his dad bought him when he was six. He takes off the shoes he is wearing and puts on the old shoes. After that, Tommy gives his friend his shoes. Lucas is very happy when receiving them. Tommy's mom sees this and asks why Tommy did that. Tommy says because Lucas is his close friend and he did not feel right when seeing him wearing old shoes like that. His mom then gives him a compliment for his wise consideration. The Nephew Last week, Alice's nephew, Robert, made the whole family go nuts. He was lost. The story goes like this. It was Monday afternoon. When his school hours were finished, he was waiting for his dad to come get him. Robert waited for half an hour, but 
his dad still did not arrive. So, he decided to walk to his house. He did not know that it was six kilometers from his school to his house. When Robert's dad arrived, he did not see his son. So, of course, he was very worried. He immediately looked for him everywhere and told this to Robert's mum and sisters. Therefore, all of them went to find Robert. After nearly two hours, Robert finally showed up at his house. His mom was very angry when Robert said he went home on foot. Robert then felt regret because of this. Everyone felt nervous and scared. Robert learned his lesson. He would never do that again. A brave child. Today, let me tell you a story about a very brave child. It was a very long time ago. There was a grandmother and her grandchild who lived under the same roof. To make ends meet, as well as take care of the child, the grandma would knit some clothes by hand and sell them in the village nearby. They lived together just like that until one day the grandma fell sick. She had a high fever and could not regain her consciousness. The child took care of his grandma all by himself. His only hope was that his grandma would soon come to her senses. However, one day, people in the village where they lived said that there would be a very strong storm. If they did not move soon, everything would be immersed in water. So, they started to leave the village and move to the nearest village to stay away from the storm. However, the child did not agree to leave. His grandma was very old and could not go the long way, let alone she was very sick and had fainted for days. Therefore, the boy decided to stay here with her. On the next day, the storm came with extremely heavy rain. From the top of the mountain, the flood came down. It was a very strong flow of water that came straight to the village. People thought that everything would be swept away by the flood. But when the strong flow came near the grandma's house, it suddenly moved its direction. Therefore, the house suffered no harm at all. People were very amazed. They came close to ask and knew about the child's decision. From then on, 
they all rumoured that the kind heart of the child made the sky feel touched and did not let the storm destroy their house. The Tiger's Teeth Once upon a time, in a village, there was a very slow boy. As he was silly and could not understand things like a normal person, he was bullied by all the other people in the village. They took his money, deceived him. They even hit him until his body was covered with bruises. Every day, there were more and more wounds appearing on his skin. They all doubled up with laughter when they saw him like that. But he did not say a thing. One day, there was a group of thieves who came to the village. They hit all of the men in there, stole all their food and money. There were a lot of them, but just a few people in the village. So the villagers did not dare to fight back. People thought it was the worst thing that ever happened, but it was not. There was something that was even worse. The thieves said they came here because they wanted to take the tiger's teeth. So they needed one person to go into the tiger's den and to make the tiger come out. Villagers were all scared and shook in their boots as they knew that if anyone entered the tiger's den, there would be no way out. At that very moment, the slow boy suddenly raised his hand and said out loud, Let me do it. The villagers were all amazed. They felt admiration for him. Then the boy came to the mountain. He held a torch in his hand and walked in fear. When he finally entered the tiger's den, he figured out that deep inside the den, the tiger was sleeping. There were tons of bones under its feet. In order to wake the tiger up, he threw his torch towards the tiger. This made the tiger jump out of its skin and ran out of the den. The tiger was very angry. It saw the boy run out too. It immediately snatched him. At that moment, there were a lot of arrows that hit the tiger's back and took away its life. The thieves were very joyful. They took the tiger's teeth out of its mouth and then left the village. After the thieves left, the villagers came to the mountain in a hurry and carried the boy back home. There were scars on his body and he had fainted. The villagers took turns to take care of him. Luckily, 
After several days, he finally made it. When he woke up, the villagers rushed in. They gave him bags of rice, homemade vegetables, to show their gratitude. The people who had bullied him before all felt very sorry. They apologized and swore that they will never ever do it again. From then on, no one bullied the boy, and his life became happier than ever. Local market. Duan was born in Hanam. He came to Hanoi to study at university at the age of eighteen. Seeing the city boom and grow fast, Duan thought that the best way to spend his money was at expensive shops. After a decade in the now noisy and excessively busy city, Duan had a change of heart. Seeing many older locals struggle to make ends meet and to support their families, Duan had stopped supporting bigger supermarkets. He now stays loyal to the local fresh fruit, helping them stay afloat in the city of technology and fast-growing business economy. A young boy. A young boy was born into a devastating family dynamic. Living in a city of turmoil and distress, with a mother who had no love, and a father who was never home. Their finances were a terrible worry to the family. Without guidance. The young boy thought that the only way to help his family was to steal groceries from the local store. After a few successful crimes, the young boy was caught. A caring police officer. Warned him about what he did, that it would destroy his life in the future. To keep stealing was only going to make things worse. He was shocked that he had come to such a point. Therefore, he recognized that. He needed a drastic change. He cannot live like this any more. He wanted to be more responsible with his own life. After years of devotion, dedication, and focus. He graduated from university with a master's degree. He is no longer a young boy, but now a young man. Because he had experienced many bad things in life, he now wanted to help other people who were in the same situation, just like. He was to have better lives. Little puppy. Megan had a small apartment. She lived alone. 
she only needed to take care of herself. Every day she went to work, then spent some time doing exercises. Each day went by. Everything was normal until one Tuesday afternoon. She decided to take a walk to clear her head. Taking a different route than usual, Megan immediately noticed a sad, lonely and unhealthy pup on a chain in the street. Megan was devastated to see this. There must be something making this little puppy look very sad. Then she asked the neighbors around and found out that the dog was usually hit by his owner. Megan tried her best to convince the owner to sell the pup to her. Because the owner also wanted to get rid of the dog, he agreed to let Megan take his dog. Megan took the pup to the vet in a great hurry. After the vet assessed the petrified and unhealthy pup, they prescribed its medication. After a few weeks of healthy food, love and walks, the pup blossomed into a happy, healthy and energetic pup, bringing an immense amount of love into Megan's heart. Protecting your skin. Kirsten is a foreigner who loves to suntan. She is a university student from South Africa. In 2019, she came to Vietnam for a vacation with her family. The family thought it was rather strange that Vietnamese cover their skin while driving with a sun protector. There is a stigmatized theory that goes around, saying that Vietnamese only do this because they are afraid of darker skin. This is, however, not the only truth. Vietnam has harsh sunlight, which can be seriously damaging to your skin. Vietnamese cover up to protect themselves from sun damage as well as heat stroke. Kirsten took a lot of information from this as to how the sun can severely damage your skin and possibly cause cancer. She now wears sun cream out every day and will sit in the shade whenever possible, protecting her health as best she can. Keeping tidy Hui is a very busy man. He is aged 29 and works six days a week. Every day, he needs to deal with a huge workload. Therefore, he doesn't have time for his interests or anything else. When he arrives home after a long day, he never cleans the house. Hui will cook dinner, watch TV, eats 
snacks and throw his washing onto a chair. After eating dinner and snacks, he doesn't clean the dishes or tidy up around him. But now, things have changed a little bit. Hui is on a break from work due to the COVID outbreak. As he will have more free time now, he decided that now is a good time to clean his apartment. After spending hours cleaning, Hui felt exhausted, but his state of mind was refreshed. He felt that to keep a house clean every day, it doesn't have to take hours. All that he has to do is consistently clean around him. Doing small chores every day means that he doesn't have to spend hours cleaning once a week. A new company. Today is the first day that Sarah goes to work. Yes, she found a new job. Because she wants to find out a suitable career path, she decided to quit her previous job. Sarah is very excited today. She woke up at 6 a.m. to cook breakfast. As she knows, she will need a lot of energy today. Afterwards, she takes a bus to go to her new company. When she arrives, there is a very young lady that comes out of the company's door and takes her in. The lady introduces Sarah to the whole company's members or her new co-workers. They are very friendly. Sarah was a bit worried at first, but now as they all send her a warm welcome, she feels much more relaxed. Now, the lady takes her to her seat. She will sit with her new group. They are all so very friendly. They ask her many things about her and they also show her what she will need to do in detail. Sarah thinks this working environment is quite suitable for her. It makes her very comfortable and she can easily focus on her work. And that is our short story for today. Please listen to the short story several times. This method will improve your listening skills. Now to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you guys want to know more about our English courses, please leave your contact number in the comment box below. Thanks again for learning with us. I'm Daniela and this is the Lung Master Learning System. Bye for now.